not often you tick everything off your tick list for the day. Well, nearly. It's like probably one of the first days I've ever had that in climbing. This is my third trip to Bungonia and this time it was about revenge. Mm. Maybe not revenge, redemption. Hey Siri, what's a synonym for redemption? Synonyms for redemption include saving, saving, freeing from sin, and vindication. Nah, basically I just wanted to climb what we couldn't climb last time. The first two things that we couldn't do were Rachel Hunter and the Sandman, because the landings were flooded. The second, steak and chips, because I was too cooked from everything that had gone on before. And then there was the warm down project. I was cooked. I intended to balance the scales on this trip and when we got to the bottom of the gorge, I was feeling pretty good. The water level was lower, but it wasn't convincing. Ooh, good one. And as we trekked the 20 minutes up the creek to where all the climbing is, I was optimistic because when you're this far committed, what else is there to do? Wear long pants. Always, always trust me, <laughs> At least I can hear the river. Yeah. Ow. Haven't even got there and it's already an adventure. Along the walk, we found a pretty cool untouched bit of rock, which pretty much is everything down here. And we figured that we did need to warm up, so this looked like a good excuse. And it turned out to be really quite good. As we left the new bonsai boulder, Rachel Hunter was back on my mind. Will it be climbable? Nope. It was still a shallow water boulder. We walk a few more minutes up to the Sandman and Jake and I are speculating as to whether that's gonna be unclimbable as well. It sounds less watery. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, I don't know actually. Oh, it? It's wet. It's workable, workable. Is it nice to hang out down there or not really? Nah, nah. Cause I remember we did the climb out of that hole. Yeah. Out here to the left. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Can you get a no-hander? <laughs> <laughs> Bust those bongs! <laughs> take! Dad! Don't take! <laughs> Fucking dab! <laughs> On belay! <laughs> Next one's all right. You can lean against the block. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh. You're on your on your on. Just stay there. <laughs> At this point, Jake and Lee sat down for a bit of lunch, but I was way too psyched, so I set about foraging for some driftwood to help build our landing. A quick slip off camera while I was doing this nearly resulted in a snapped tibia for me, which 
It was a good reminder to keep my head screwed on while down here because help is not close. And this is the reason why I do keep my EPIRB with me whenever I'm down here. But after 20 minutes of building, we had a landing. Good. You, made that, good. you made it look quite easy and it's fucking hard. I was pretty psyched to get the Sandman done quickly and Jake and Lee kept on trying for a bit. Sick one. Good job. Just sent it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll cut that together pretty good but then decided to pump the brakes because Lee really wanted to try and do escapism, which was the boulder that I put up last time. Yeah, man. Good Lee. Come on, man. While the guys were trying escapism, I checked out these features to the left and turned out to be another great little addition to the area. Oh, oh. One more guy. <laughs> 
<laughs> Lee came really close to doing escapism again, emptying the tank. He was still kind of recovering from a bit of sickness, so just not quite firing at 100%. And we moved around the corner into the steak and chips cave, and I was feeling optimistic about my chances until I pulled on and worked out that I was a bit more tired than I thought. It looks like you still get violent with the cat shape. I felt like I was on the right track here, but I couldn't really muster the mustard to snatch at the move. And I felt like one of those moves where I could just do that all day and not get any more progress. Is it worth it? Am I going to waste myself and not have any juice for anything else in the day? Or do I fully commit and actually make it happen? Actually commit to the move and not sit on the fence of trying to do it. Come on. Come on, man. Good one, man. Good one. Nice. Cool. Cool. Good. Engage over crush. Yeah. yeah. Engage like. <laughs> Then I was mega pooped, but didn't walk this far to fail on my warm down. Or at least that's what I thought before I pulled on. Yep, right hand again. Yep, good on to the thin one. Go! On. Oh. You still got yeah, 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 fucking like both, both the lower legs are <laughs> fucking crazy, yeah. Oh man, I don't know if I've got that in me. You did great on the first go, yeah. like with it. You maybe just need to know what you're going to do then and then give it one like all in yeah. go because it definitely worked what you did. Didn't walk this far to fail on my warm down. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. I got your time. Come on. Mm -hmm. You got it. High right foot, big ledge out right. Rock out over. Even further. There was an unexpected lesson from these two boulders and it's taken me 12 months of bouldering to finally work it out and to actually feel like a boulder. There is no hiding when you actually need to put your foot to the floor and go for it. And it's really different to the try hard that I've found in sport climbing. 100% effort, no holding back. It seems appropriate that in the area that I love so much because of the commitment that I finally learnt commitment. The walkout at the end of the day was the typical slog, but burgers awaited and we ticked off another classic day of fun. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here until the very end. Sunset. Sunset crew, actually. Yeah, comment below. If you're still here, Sunset crew. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. See you next time.